Here are those low temperatures for tomorrow morning. This is what will bottom out down to when we start out the day on Friday on our mostly clear skies. That cloud cover will be because of some of that lower fog and lower cloud deck that develops in spots. It's not going to be everywhere, so that's why most of us will be waking up to sunshine. And we also do have a cloud on our icon to indicate some fog and some of that lower cloud tomorrow morning. But the majority of the day will be under blue skies. Plenty of sunshine, really not a cloud in the sky as we head into the afternoon, early evening hours with those temperatures upper 30s to lower 40s, and then it'll get even warmer into Saturday and Sunday. Not going to have as much sunshine for the weekend compared to Friday, but we're still going to have plenty of it, especially into our Saturday. After one system that moves through Friday night into Saturday morning, we'll be off to the east by the afternoon, and it leaves behind more sunshine as we head into the first half of the weekend. For tomorrow, again, we're going to see some of that lower cloud, lower fog developing. It's going to be patchy, so not everyone is going to be waking up to that, but a few spots could definitely see that developing overnight, especially as you trend north. 7 a.m. We've got that potential there, but by the afternoon evening hours, we're completely done with that. We'll see some higher clouds building in for the evening, and then we go mostly cloudy overnight Friday into Saturday morning. That's going to be with a rain snow maker. Most of the snow is going to stay closer to about M10 up towards Big Rapids, Oceana, Nuego, Macosta County. That would be the best potential of seeing a light accumulating snowfall upwards of an inch and then it's rainfall for everyone else along and south of I-96. As we work through Saturday, Saturday afternoon and evening, we've got that sunshine back and we're going to be pushing those temperatures towards 46 degrees. Even Sunday going to be very warm and mild for this time of the year, approaching 50 degrees as we wrap up February and head into March. This mild spring-like trend is going to continue for the majority of next week too.